okay. I've got Ron 8 going here. We are on the Arvin branch. And I've acquired my train. I've brought these cars down to this side and I shoved them back from the industry that they came from, from whence they came. And so now I'm going to uncouple from these cars. And I have to make sure that my gin switch is turned off. I'll show you what I mean by that for the generator field. Generator field is the middle switch right here. You'll see where my cursor is at and you'll see it move down when I turn it off. That eliminates any possibility of unintended movement by the locomotives and therefore the train. And you're removing any possibility of the generator being excited and generating electricity to supply the traction motors. So... <clears throat> Make sure that is set, your reverser is in neutral, and your independent or your locomotive brake is put on full. So we'll come down here, our brakes are on, and I'm just going to do these videos as if I wasn't even doing a video, and in hopes that it'll help somebody enhance their their uh, gaming pleasure or their their fun with run A. So I'm not going to worry about this car. The brakes are already set on these cars here that the locomotives are hooked up to or coupled to. So I'll click on this and I'll close the angle cock. The angle cock is this thing right here. Is this this is the angle cock? And each car has one. Even the locomotive has one. Let's see it right here. It's right here. This is the angle cock. And this allows or prohibits air from being introduced into the train line or airline throughout the train. So I've closed the angle cock on the locomotive coupler. And I'm not going to worry about this car because as soon as I separate from these cars, essentially these cars go into emergency and the brake set. Plus, I have the handbrakes set on all these cars. So, I'll go ahead and uncouple from these. You hear that loud hiss? That's the, the, the air being dumped out of these cars, out of the train line. So... Okay, and now, since I got this coupler on the locomotive highlighted, I can come over here and I can turn off or release the brake for this locomotive. Then I'll walk down here, more like run. Shouldn't run on railroad property, but... Okay, we can't do it here. Well, we don't want to... We want to release the brake on this locomotive. So now, hit F11, we'll hop on our locomotive, and we'll turn on our lights, turn our gin field back on, put a reverser in forward, and release the brake. And we're going to go over to this track here to our right and grab those cars that you just saw. Locomotives, the GB20, the GB40s, uh, the SD40s, SD45-2s, SD40T2s that are in the game now. Uh, when you 
press or activate the horn, it does not activate the bell. You have to turn that on independent of the horn. And the newer locomotives, the S44s, the SD78s, uh, and I believe the Amtrak locomotives as well, uh, when you hit the horn, the bell automatically goes on. It does not do that in the older locomotives. You have to turn the bell on and then activate the horn then work the horn, so just an FYI, there'll be a lot of those as we go along. Now as I'm doing this, I can, I can come down here and ride and move over since the switch stand is on this side of the locomotive. I can hop off. Just hit F12. Okay. On over, hit F11. You gotta be close to the car or locomotive, the steps that you want to attach to. They call it attaching in run eight. So we're gonna back up, we're gonna grab our other cars. I'm gonna bring up my in the depot in real life, restricted speed is, it depends on the railroad, but it's usually anywhere between 10 and 15 miles per hour. In the depot, it's 20. And I think they did that to help kind of speed up the gain. Uh, something to realize with this. Something to realize about about Run 8 is it simulates real railroading to the T. Probably stopped a little too fast there. But if it takes an actual 12 hours to get over a subdivision, that's what it takes in Run 8. So I think they did that, at least I was told that they did that to kind of speed things up. Because like Barstow Yard, Barstow Yard in the game is so large, and so is West Colton, that at 10 miles an hour it would just take you forever to get across the yard. So, Slack out. Let's see if we got a coupling. Okay. And that one long blast is the engineer letting know, letting the conductor know, or the brakeman that they can get in between the cars and do what they got to do. So now you'll see I clicked on this coupler here, and the angle cock on this car is already open. So I'm just going to click on the locomotives coupler and I'll open it partially. And as you'll know, as you'll see, you don't want this air just rushing into the airline because otherwise the PCS, the pneumatic control switch that's in the locomotive, will see that as a leak or a broken air hose 
and it'll put the train in emergency. So you just want to open it partially. One thing you do want to do is go down to the bottom to the rear of your train. You do that by hitting Control F12. And I don't know why Run 8 does this, but the angle cock for the rear car is open. And if you don't address this, if you don't close this angle cock, your train will go into emergency eventually. So if you're not aware of it and you don't get down there and, and close it, your train goes into emergency, it trips the PCS, it goes into emergency, and you got to reset the PCS either formally, like in real life, or just hitting F F7. You can do it either way in the game. So we'll go back up, F11, or F control F, left control F12 to get back to our train. the brakes. You can go from car to car releasing the brakes if you want to do that or you can just hit shift F5 and you'll see the cars kind of move there a little bit or shimmy a little bit and that releases the brakes throughout the train. You've just released all the hand brakes of the train. So okay I'll hop on here, turn on my generator field, put my train in, in fact I think what I'm going to do, put it in forward, I'm going to ride the train down the front end here. game does this sometimes you just have to so I hit you I just I'll come off of it I'll put the, re the reverser in neutral and I'll hit F7 to reset my air I thought I had waited long enough but maybe the rear end I waited too long for the rear end to close the angle clock on the rear car and it tripped it that way so, but I should be able to be okay now. I should be all right. So, forward on the reverse, off the independent or engine brake, and here we go. And we're still not moving. got kind of a long train behind me. Not real long, but not about, well, I guess, ten cars anyhow. train now I believe are loaded and that's one of the reasons why I think or the reason why we weren't moving right away just had to give it a little more throttle but I'm glad that happened you run into stuff like that and you just have to take a deep breath and figure out what's going on It's real easy to cross yourself up if 
you turn your generator field off and you go to move and you're not moving and you forgot about the generator field, you'll pull it, pull your hair out trying to figure out what the heck is going on until you realize your generator field is turned off. And you're not going anywhere until you reactivate your generator field. So, and after about, oh, hundred million times I finally figured figured that out <laughs> so my dad is my my uh, conductor Dad passed away in 2015, but he's with me riding the hire. I think he's enjoying it immensely. I hope he is anyhow. Okay, so this is the industry right here. It's the uh, winery here that works off the. That, that is off the uh, um, or on the Arvin branch. I'm gonna give it some so I can slow down here. See the cars with the HW LS19 917J. Uh, the HCW is the abbreviation for the industry that these cars are going to, and the LS917J is the local that works this industry. And if you notice, everything's red. So. Red means they're loaded. Orange means they're partially loaded. And green means they're empty. So Now something else to remember about single player, if you're in free fly mode, that's where you fly around and zee, just really just to show you real quick what it is. This is free fly mode, what they call free fly mode in, in run eight. And in single player, you can throw a switch, not a problem. In multiplayer, you cannot do that. You have to be on the ground hit F12 and you're on the ground or what they call ground view and then you have to throw the switch and now you're good to go and I must go to the restroom so I'll be right back
Okay, I'm back. So anyhow, we've got this switch thrown. And we're going to walk over here and hit F11 and hitch ourselves a ride. Right on into this. Into this industry. And this industry has three spurs. And if you're looking at the three spurs, one, two, three, one on the left, two in the middle, and three on the right, number one takes the tank cars. Track number one takes the tank car, so... As you can see... Switch is thrown. We need it thrown the other way. So we'll come over here, throw the switch, and I'll show you something here real quick. You can turn on the milepost tags, which tell you the name. Well, actually, will give you the milepost, but that doesn't uh, mean for every route. I know the Cajon Pass route, you, you can see the mile post, the mile post will come up as you are going down the rails, but not every route does that, just to let you know, so, but they will show the display, it will, do, it will display the uh, industry names, most of them, so, let you know about that. You're probably wondering what these, I guess you'd call them purple or orchid, where it says HCW and there's dots on the rails. HCW is the abbreviation for this industry, which is Hex Sellers Winery. The dots that you see indicate where the cars have to be sitting for the timer or the clock to start running once you set them out. If you just set them out on a siding where you don't set those cars the the the, re, the designated cars within those dots the clock won't run so in other words this track here to the left will only take tank cars so if you set out a gondola car or a flat car or a covered hopper it'll just sit there forever and nothing's gonna happen because it's not configured in the game to accept hoppers or flat cars or gondolas or even box cars it's only configured to accept tank cars so I'll show you here what I mean let's see can left control I brings up the industry and this is let's see heck Go down here to Heck Sellers Winery, and if you'll see right here, it takes a box car on one of the spots and a tank car on the other one, and that's what this track here is. And you notice these dots turn red because this is the industry configuration or editor. So, just to let you know. So, now you can also operate your train from free fly, which helps a lot, believe me. Okay, here 
here we go. If you want to take a picture of this, you hit F8. F8 is screenshot. Oh, I don't want to hit it now because I don't know if that's a hotkey for my screen capture software, so... Now these cars, we have to set out at these platforms right here, so we have to break the cars in two, or, or, or in twos. We can't just set them out and then leave. I mean, you can, but it, it's not very prototypical. So we'll have to get out. And go to fly mode and see, or free fly mode. free fly view Okay. Okay, we'll hit free fly view, and we'll go up and see how many. I think it's two, two per plat, two cars per platform. I think. Yes, yeah, two cars per platform. So we'll hit this car, apply the brake. Hit this car, apply the brake. And actually, I should. Reverser in neutral, gin field is off, and independent or locomotive brake is on full. And then a toot of the horn to let the guy on the ground or person on the ground know. Check to make sure. Let, make, let them know that they have three point. And you can do your work in free fly zone or free fly view as well. So. Close this, uncouple, and then we'll hope or close our gen field again. Reverser and forward. Two two to the horn mean means we're moving forward. And I think the idea here is to make sure that the domes are accessible from the platform. If these domes were over here, like where this car is sitting, they wouldn't be able to get to this to fill it or unload it, or actually unload it because red means it's loaded. So, but since these are at the platform we're okay so as long as you get it as long as you ballpark it in this area you're okay even though the dots are all the way out 
almost to the main line. But for the platform, for it to be prototypical, uh, they should be at the platforms and accessible. So that way they can unload or, or load the tank car for whatever it's used for. So we'll come down here. Uh, I think one brake is fine. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be a problem. And then close the gen field. Reverser and forward, off the engine brake. As you can see, these are the last two cars. And back it up a little bit here. Come off the engine brake or the independent. By the handbrake on this car. And click on this car's coupler, close the angle cock, uncouple, step back, close the gin feel, reverser and forward, off with the independent or engine brake. Okay. And we'll hop on. Those cars are taken care of. Now I'll show you real quick. <coughs> Control L. And let's see. See, these are the tank cars, these last one, two, three, these last six cars are the tank cars that we just set out. And because we got the car, the cars are the right cars, and we set them out at the right, on the right spur, the clock is ticking. So we have four, they have 48 hours to unload these cars. So, and if I go to control L and I bring up my switch list you'll see the cars that I'm that I'm attached to go on the other tracks so these cars will only show up the set outs will only show up if your locomotives are coupled to those cars otherwise there'll be nothing here there'll be nothing here so okay here we go
Okay, now we're coming into the other part. Now the same situation exists on these spurs as well. The cars have to be broke up. I think we have what? How about four cars? Five cars. Five cars. So Each one of these cars should be sitting at a dock. Okay. So we want to move forward here. They have to be able to get their equipment. Oh boy. This is where it gets tricky. Okay, that should be good right there. Okay. The brake is applied on that car. They'll be able to get this. Oh yeah. Reverser in neutral. Genfield off. Close that, uncouple. And what we're doing here is we're servicing the, the individual spots at this industry. So each spot is meant for a different purpose. One spot could be used for loading box cars, another one could be used for unloading box cars. Uh, or another one could be used you know, each box car could have a different product in it or meant for different types of loading so you don't want to set a uh, a food tank out where or uh, uh, gasoline is being loaded or dynamites being loaded into a box car so
guess I could just stand like this. And And when you come back to pick this car up, because it's an empty, you'll see it's green, these doors will be closed. So, huh. Kind of a cool thing about Run 8. They really did their own work with this game. So, applied. Close the angle cock on the car that we're moving away from this car. The car that's still hooked to the locomotive, that is. And we'll uncouple. And then we can actually uh, close the gin field, reverse her in forward. the brakes because this is a dock so three step opening the gin field putting the reverser in, in neutral and applying the independent or locomotive brake to fold is what some railroads call three call three step. I think it's, uh, CSX and I think North Fork Southern call it three step. BNSF I think calls it set and center, and UP calls it red zone. I believe I've heard him over the radio, my scanner say he call it red zone. So we'll close the angle cock for the locomotive. couple this and then close the gin field reverse her forward and we're done Post tags will also tell you what road 
roads you're going across or freeways, or not all of them, not all the time, but it'll give you a pretty good indication as to what where you're at. So we're over here. to be a descending grade in the direction that we're going, which is also to, going towards Bakersfield, UP Bakersfield Yard, so it's just something to be aware of. Uh, you do have to apply the brakes. It's not an abrupt uh, descending grade, but it is a grade nonetheless, so something to keep in mind. doing about 19 miles an hour my speed creeped up to 21 miles and right now I'm so I brought it down to 18 and now it's creeping back up to 20 miles an hour so and actually I don't have to go and get these cars I forgot show you where we're going to be headed. Uh, another long siding to put cars on. I'm figuring out with the Arvin branch, the reason they put so many sidings on this is, is you're to pick up stuff and set it out on those sidings as you work your way down to the end of the Arvin branch. Because this is a, a pretty busy branch. So there's a lot of pickups, a lot of pickups. So I'll pick these cars up on the way back because they're trailing point switches. Right now, coming down the way I'm going now, they're facing point. In other words, my locomotives would go into the spur like this. And I could grab these cars, not a problem, but they'd be in the way if once I get down to the end of the branch. So I can get these on the way back. It'd just be a whole lot easier. No matter how much I got to pick up down at the end of the branch, and I'll show you what I mean, is another what would be a what's a facing point switch, but will be a trailing point switch when we're on our way back. So coming back, going from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen, we'll be able to uncouple from from our uh, pickups that we brought up from the end of the branch, reach into this spur and grab these cars and be on our way. Same here. Uh, here's some empty gondolas that we'll need to pick up. They dumped off some scrap metal. So now this is a trailing point so we'll grab this car on our way down now. So trailing point and then let's see We got a whole bunch of work to do in here too. So don't have any setouts here, but got plenty of pickups. So lots of fresh fruits and vegetables being shipped to wherever. And then we got this spur going over here. We got more stuff to pick up here. So not a problem really because these are all facing point switches that I can see. So it's just a matter of reaching in and grabbing these. And But we'll have a bunch of pickups to be bringing back to Bakersfield. So um, Plus we'll have those 
to pick up on the way back the, the what will be trailing point switches so A lot of this, I don't think, is on the Arvin branch anymore. There, there are some. I believe there are some still some packing sheds, whatnot, down there, but nothing like it used to be. But see, right here, the Allied Potato, it, it, it identifies this uh, homegrown cold storage, so it, it does identify the the industries here. So, which makes it kind of nice. I can turn the car tags off so you can see them better so this one is uh, Trino packaging and cold storage I mean all the stuff that comes out of the fields comes here and gets packed or put in cold storage until they can be shipped so <clears throat> I guess the railroads can only supply so many refrigerated cars so and their harvest may have more than the railroads can take at any one load so they gotta put them in storage a lot of this stuff gets trucked out now so but in run 8 there's lots of work to do here so at any rate that's what we're looking at I can pick these cars up on the way in to the end of the spur or on the way out. I'll probably pick them up on the way out because otherwise uh, I'll just have too many cars. So okay. Hop in here and we'll go down to the end of the branch. <coughs> Our work here is done. I've set this up to reflect as close as I can to how the depot does it. Now I can't show you the operation center on the depot, but I can say uh, that I can go in to the operation center and look to see how it how it's supposed to be done on any oh boy, where did I go? 35 miles an hour on any on any branch line or any local pretty much um, so that's how I've got all my local set up in single player to reflect all the locals that work in the depot plus so I can feel more comfortable by doing it in single player first and then going into Depot Plus and doing my work. I haven't ran a lot of locals in Depot Plus, so never worked the Arvin branch before so this is a new experience for me but I'm finding out that it's I'm glad I'm doing this because I'm, I've learned a lot from doing what I'm doing now so and I think 
it, uh, yeah, it's 20 miles an hour. trying to find a key that I can use, uh, a hot key that I can use to start my, re my screen capture program, start it and stop it while I'm in run 8. So far I haven't found anything. Because run 8 uses a lot of hot keys, so I gotta make sure I use a a key or on my keyboard or a combination of keys that don't do anything on run 8. Here come the facing point spurs, so we'll grab these on our way back, heading back to Bakersfield. See how it is to go in now and get these now, I'd have nowhere to put them and they'd be on the wrong side of my locomotives if I were to pick these up now. So. I mean, I guess I could still, but I'll just wait until I get them on the way. I could get these now and then shove them down to that through spur down there at the, where those gondolas are sitting, but I'll just get it on the way back. And I got more stuff behind me that I got to pick up, too. That
what I'm gonna do next. I think what I'll do, I'll grab this car and I'll shove it onto the track those gondolas are on. there that was a bad car oh well that was a bad car <laughs> okay well enough for tonight F1 hit save and That happened.
happens. Just got to start over again. Um, and let's see. We hit F1, Shift F1. No, I'm sorry. Control F1. And here's our freight locos. Let's see, SJVRR. Here's one and two. We'll reverse those. Then you click on place train. I think that's it right there. Oops. Yeah. Well, one of them was a Conrail locomotive, actually, but we're not going to worry about that. Oh. Okay. And then I guess we can put an, another car here. Control F1. All freight cars. Let's see. Refrigerator. <coughs> we'll clear this. And then place train. Okay. We should be good to go now. And I think the last let's see, let me come in here, options. Relinquish my train. So we'll make this I think it was an R O R O. Oh, and we got to make it full because it was red. Oops. R O. R O. So now we should be able to go in. Well, F1, relinquish my train. Set as lead locomotive. Start it. Okay, we should be good to go now. We can continue on with our work. Let's see. And like I said, in a situation like that, well, I, mean, I didn't say anything. This is a, a scenario that, that you can get off the depot forums called uh, Very SoCal Populated. And he also, he also has a SoCal Populated file that you can download and install into the game. And it seems to have less problems with what you just saw than the Very SoCal Populated. But when that happens, you just it's a good idea like I did to come over and look at the car note the car tag which red means loaded and what it was it doesn't really matter because you can always go into 
Control I. I'm not even sure what this is. Uh, oh, John G. Korvich. Kovacic. Kovacic. And Sons. And see what the destination tags are for a car once they leave this industry. In this case, it was RO, which stands for Roper Yard in Salt Lake City. It's an old DNRGW yard. So, but then that way you can come back in here and you can click it. Now, I don't know what my thing is going to look like here. Oh, yeah, here it is, ready, RO. Okay, so we're good. So we just need to pick this up. And you can change the horns too as well. I just don't remember. I mean, I don't remember the combination for doing that. I think it's control four. Control F four? No. Close that. just one car you don't have to wait that long 10 seconds if you had a whole string of cars and you open up the hand the, the, the angle cock to full after you've done a partial I would wait before you went from partial to full a little longer because you could trip the PCS if you don't so okay
shove the, this car onto this siding here with these gondolas, and then I'll pick it up on the way back. But otherwise, I got to drag it around with me, going down to the end of the line. So wherever I go, I got to drag it around with me. So. thing happened. Oh well. I was afraid of that. And I don't know what causes that, but it is what it is. Anyhow, I'm going to get out of this for now. I'm going to save it as and it was Okay, I'm going to get out of this and see how my recording went.